Whew. I want to show you guys something on Sweet Miss Rosie here today. Uh, a little completely stupid issue um, that had me shut down, you know, for a couple of days, which a couple of days just because I didn't have time to look at it. You know, basically the machine breaks down, I go work on something else. Anyway, I um, was working the other day and the machine started to get to where it was wanting to stall down. Every, I mean, every time I would dig and try to load the engine up at all, it would just start to stall and lose power. And it's been doing this to me for a while, uh, especially the longer I run the machine, the worse it does it. And so I, I, um, sorry, I had a brain fart, I had a text message come through. So. You know, a lot of times it does it to me after I've been running for a while and the engine gets warmer and I've been thinking for the longest time that it was because my fuel lines from the tank to the filters and to the pumps were obstructed. You know, just rust, dirt from years and tanks. And pretty much every time it would get to where it would do it a lot and make me upset, I'd change my fuel filters and the issue would get better. So it made sense, right? Now I don't change fuel filters on a regular basis on this machine. I never hit the hour limit on them, I'm certain. I have changed fuel filters just from a time limit. Uh, but anyway, so I changed the filters, it seems to get better. Well, this time, uh, I was low on diesel, and that was the key problem, I believe. But it started acting up real bad, went to town, changed the fuel water separator, which is this one right here behind me, that one. And I changed the main fuel filter, which is up on the engine by the injector pump. I always change both of them at the same time. The fuel water separator was nasty, had rust in the bottom of it, nasty. The fuel filter up on the engine really was pretty clean. Anyway, change of filters, I filled them back up with diesel just like I always do to prevent air locks. Started the machine and it went through its usual little fit where you start it, it runs fine for a second, then it kind of spits and sputters, you know, because it pulls the air pocket through, stalls down and dies. And when that happens, every time I'm able to just kind of crank it a little bit more, it comes right back around. So we went through that, we cranked it back up and revved up, the engine cleaned up. I said, okay, we're good to go. I started driving to go do some more work, engine stalled again, could not get it to restart, period. And I thought, you know, okay, which when I changed the filters, by the way, I also added, I put in like another 25 gallons of diesel, because I knew it was low, but I added diesel. But couldn't get to start at all. I start cracking loose all the injector lines, I start trying to prime the pump, all this stuff not getting any fuel to the pump finally which i'm thinking you know so then i'm like okay yeah those lines are they're plugged they're, they're plugged so bad that it won't even gravity flow the issue on this machine is i don't have any sort of lift pump that pushes fuel to the injector pump the injector pump has to suck the diesel all the way from the tank which of course puts that whole line on a vacuum if there's a leak anywhere I suck air instead of fuel. That's a problem. It's a big problem in diesel. You guys that are watching this probably know that. Um, so finally I got to, I was going to take all my lines apart and check that they weren't plugged. So this line here on my machine, your excavator may be different, but this line here is my inlet. This is coming from the fuel tank. Okay. I cracked this line loose and look at the level here on the side of the machine. This is about two thirds of the way up. Well, probably closer to half of the way up the fuel tank so I cracked this line loose and lo and behold no diesel came out none now I pulled this line down I brought it down here lower than the tank level diesel starts running out makes sense right just running on a siphon gravity flow because this line on the tank of course is drawing from down by the bottom of the tank hooked it back up but it wouldn't you know let any diesel go. So I think my problem was my fuel tank was just so low that this line got airlocked. This line, which runs from the fuel water separator up to the prime on the injector pump, was airlocked. My entire everything was airlocked. I was priming like crazy and wasn't getting any fuel to the injector pump. So finally, simplest solution of all today, fill the fuel tank all the way up 
plumb full. Crack this line loose, let it run until it starts running diesel through. Crack the next line loose, let it run until the diesel comes through. Get up on the injector pump, prime, prime, prime. Okay, got good diesel at the injector pump. Crack your, cracked my fuel line up into the fuel filter, primed until it squirted out diesel. Went through, cracked all of my injectors. Cranked the engine, had to use ether to get it going. Cranked the engine so that it would turn over and try to fire and had to keep doing that until of course it starts spraying diesel out of all your injector lines. At that point, you should have fuel all the way through the system. Tighten down all the injector lines and actually only had to tighten down three. Three of them were still loose. Tighten down three of them on a six cylinder engine. She fired right up and really was running pretty doggone smooth <laughs> for only having three cylinders running right. And what's funny is I went through this, I tightened up four, five, and six. And as I did, you know, vroom, 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 the engine idles up better every time. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know you know, if I can improve it, but my thought is I would like to see about wiring up, um, you know, just a little electric, just a little diesel electric 12 volt pump. Just something real simple, not a high pressure pump at all. Just something that I can plumb in, um, you know, right here ahead of the fuel water separator or something that will help to really draw diesel from the fuel tank. I don't want to put a pump in the tank. I don't want to deal with any of that nonsense. If I could find a place to put one, you know, down down here that's close to the bottom of the tank, that would probably be the best. You know, just have it set down there so that it will it would gravity prime and then it will push diesel up to here and of course push it all the way through. That's the ideal. This stupid thing's dripping. I hate these fuel water separators, by the way. This thing, like I've cranked it all the way down. I'm afraid I'm gonna strip it and it's still just barely seeping. Anyway, I want to share that with you guys. Um you know, because I'm the type that I, I tend to panic and assume the absolute worst. So here I am like, oh my God, my ejector pump finally took a dump. No, the whole thing was just severely airlocked. And long story short, if I had just filled it with diesel first and then changed the filters, I would have had no problems. And maybe I'm just, maybe it's just dumb luck that every time in the past when I've changed the filters, I've had, you know, over half a tank or whatever. Uh, basically, you just have to have a tank level higher than that inlet on the fuel water separator because that's about the same height as the prime on the injector pump so you just have to have a fuel tank level you know higher than that in theory your prime pump your little hand pump on the injector pump should be able to you know help you pull prime it should overcome an airlock i don't think my prime plunger is quite right because it leaks real bad it squirts a lot of diesel out um so i think you know like i said i was just aired up and it just couldn't overcome it but yeah Long story short, from now on on this machine, full tank of diesel, and then I'll change my filters. Hope that helps you all out there somewhere.